Hello and welcome to this video guys. So in this video we'll be speaking about cypress.io which is a end-to-end -end testing framework and in this video we'll be learning almost everything about it. So by the end of this video you'll be having beginner to intermediate knowledge of Cypress. So after that you know you can just look at refer the documentation and learn everything about Cypress. So Without further ado, let's get started. So I am going to go to the cypress.io website. I am going to move my... This seems nice. Okay. So... Okay, good. So I am going to move... Okay, so we are on cypress.io, if you can see. So it basically has everything. So we will be going through different, different stuffs. We will be going through how to set up Cypress for the first time. And of course, we'll be using React.js or you can use it on any front-end framework. And uh, yeah, so basically, we will be learning about how Cypress works. We'll uh, learn about how to install it. We'll learn about uh, CY that contains all the functionalities of Cypress. And we'll be using any any website like Google.com or whatever. We can use that and then we'll just, you know, uh, start testing the website. All right. So now uh let's get started let's go to the documentation let's hit the documentation so a prerequisite for this thing is that you need to have node.js on your system so please make sure that you have node.js installed on your system so that's something that i'm not going to show in this video but i'm going to assume that you guys already have node.js all right so now uh, let me just quickly move forward to getting started and I don't know what's wrong with my okay cool all right so now uh, all you have to do is that open up your terminal terminal on your mac or uh, i don't know what's command prompt on the windows so all you have to do just make sure that if you have check if you have node or not you can just write node hyphen hyphen version gives you some some random version make sure that it's the latest one or at least it's a stable one Okay, so now after that, all you have to do is just write npm cypress, like the thing that it says over here, npm install, i means install. I'm going to write install just for the sake of clarity on this video, cypress that's just save. I mean, you can also write, you know, save dev, but, but what we should, what we must do is that we must, before doing all of this, before installing cypress. So we need to basically make sure that uh, we need to have a repository that we are working on. Of course, the code base that we are working on. So for that, I am going to open a Visual Studio code. And uh, let me delete this. Okay, and I am going to open a new, uh, you know, open something over here like, and I'm going to create a new folder on saf youtube all right i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna create a file called index.js or whatever um yeah index.html you know and write tab and this will basically um create a document html document i'm gonna write hello i'm gonna create an h1 doc at h1 element hello there okay so now you can open up your terminal on the yeah of course over here all you have to do is write npm cypress dash dot save dev actually you know you should yeah you can just press save over here and it will create like all sorts of stuff over here like it will create um example report example file of how to set up cypress so the way that it works is that it will install up google chrome on your um chrome yeah chrome on your uh, device and then it will run the website that you want to test on like on that website on that browser so so it's just gonna do its thing you know it's gonna install uh yeah so as you can see cypress is already installed and there's some uh, warnings over you can ignore this because anyhow we're not going to work on this uh, thing anyways uh, we'll move forward and 
we will go to the documentation and we'll see what should we do next okay uh, make sure that you have npm in it you can ignore this actually if you are working on a node.js repository or maybe a react.js repository then you, of course you you will have node, node, node modules and package json file so i'm going to assume that this is a react.js project or whatever so we'll be using that okay so if you're using yarn you can do this and yeah there's some operating system requirements and node.js requirements that you must have and uh, after this so now since we have set up everything now all we have to do is write npx cypress open so let's do that let's see it looks like this is your first time setting up cypress so it's going to open cypress over here so all you have to do is so this this is it guys like i mean you have started working on cypress so you can press continue over here so there are two stuff two things over here component testing which is add which was added like few days few months ago this is, so the thing that we want to test over here is e2e testing so now we want to make sure that there we have we added the following files in your project so we can see that the this guy has added you know following files in our project so it basically has all of the commands that uh, you know we can look at all of the commands we can create custom commands over here and we can you know we can just it just basically has some example stuff over here and there's some example.json where we can store all of the static data to test out stuff so now after this i press open and press continue so the browser so you can test out on different browsers you can test on electron electron is like you know uh vs code itself like yeah uh, yeah a gui and there is firefox the browser i'm gonna use i'm gonna go with chrome so it's gonna open up chrome yeah so now if you see i mean we can create a new spec so the way that we have to create a file is it's pretty simple uh i'm gonna press uh you know i'm gonna go to this window create an spec file and yeah so as you can see so this is how we have to write our first test so if you can see over here um uh, that we are on like example dot cypress dot yeah i'm on this website you know i am i mean this website has everything all the commands and everything you can see it has like some bit click scroll to or whatever and then now since you can see that it basically passed the test so now let's get to the coding side okay so if you can see there's e to e there's something called describe there's something called it passes so so describe is like this this level of this thing is like you know a new whole test case so the first test case and then inside that there are different different levels so so if you can see let me just remove off everything i mean comment it out and if you see over here i am gonna write describe a new test uh describe you know i'm gonna write uh something like visit successfully visits google.com and i am gonna um you know i'm sorry i have github copilot with me i mean who doesn't so uh okay so now i am gonna yeah create this and i am gonna write it successfully visits so describe is like the whole test suite suite so basically it, it will have it's like a major level of test so if you can see it, it so basically here is some here is something that you need to understand is that you need not need to have any kind of uh i mean there's no comp uh, like you know uh like this like you know you just have to do this you know it's just up to you you just have to organize your test properly so that you you understand the tests and all the other developers who are working with you would also understand the test that you're writing so that is the reason you keep you have this describe you have this it and everything so now i am just gonna create a google test cases so it's like a package and inside that there are different levels different different stuff so success success fully visits the website google.com and 
there you go and we will write cy dot visit https colon google dot com okay so now if i do that and there you go so this test passed so now over here uh the next thing that we will be looking at is that uh we will be looking into i mean this is the hello world i mean like it's kind of like a hello world program that we are doing over here so it's like the very first thing like you know that you have to visit and then now we'll be learning about the cy dot contains okay so now let's look at the cy dot contains so i'm going to write a new test case which like you know it contains so i'm going to go to this google website and i can see that this is an image i can see that there is something called google search over here so i'm i just want to make sure that there is google search over here so the text google search so in order to do that i can write uh it uh the website google.com contains a button which has a text of um uh, google search there you go and uh if you see over here it's it's really pretty easy to understand uh i am just going to do one thing okay i just do not want to yeah this is fine okay cool so now if you see over here the website google dot contains so i'm going to write cy dot contains google search let's see if it contains google search so the thing about so if you can see this basically errored out so now if you see uh you know it was just on blank website so now every time you're creating a new test case you have to make sure that you give a a website that it needs to start with so now after completing that it's going to check contains google search does it contain no it does not so if you can see there is uh the capital this is small s and this is capital s so now let me change it to this one let's see if this works yeah so as you can see this thing passed so all of this so this this test suite passed so inside this we have different different test cases so now so now the next thing so this is what this was about cy dot contains so cy dot contains we can just find out more stuff over here i am sure there is something more about it yeah so it's like a querying part so you can get you know should contain button and uh, you know it, it basically helps you to get some data on the website so this is contains so i'm just going to go move forward with get now cy dot get cy dot get is pretty much simple so now suppose if i want to get this particular uh button so press this button on the cypress and press this okay so this is one way of getting it uh copy the code but you can open inspect element and check what is the id of this button i am sure there is some id that it has i don't know if google has it i mean it will be easy if you are working on the local machine because your ids will show up now and um, okay never mind we will ignore that um uh, we will use yeah we will be using this yeah we'll be using what cypress uh shows us to use this okay so now over here i am going to copy to clipboard so now i'm going to write cy dot get oops i guess i am on a wrong yeah this one there you go so let's see and i'm going to write dot contains or maybe yeah dot the dot should be visible so you know like you know this get this and in the side this it should be this this particular button should be visible so let's see if this is visible 
yeah if you can see this test case is passed you can press the re run button over here to check if it's working or not and now should be visible and now we'll be writing a new test case um, you know like click the google search button okay so i'm gonna so it's pretty much easy it's just like the way that github copilot is showing us so now we need to write get, get and we need to write the path or you can use this particular thing so ideally you need to understand one thing is that when you're writing the html uh, buttons or whatever make sure that you give something like data test id is equals to uh, heading so now we can come over here and write something like this data test id equal to um, heading or button search button yeah and also write dot click does that make sense i hope that it does so this is one way of getting it and also if you have a id you can get it by just writing the id hashtag enter id and this should start working anyways so this is one way of getting it and the other way of getting is in like you know click this click this button and copy the code and just paste it over here so now they, there are different apps uh, options that you know our button will have button we can click the button let's let, let's try to click the button Let's see what happens if I just normally click the button on the website. So nothing happens. Let me just rerun and just, you know, just make sure that this is working fine. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, so if you can see over here, so if you click button on s button nothing happens like you know like so let's let's see what happens if i just press save so it, sh it should basically pass the test because we are able to click the button all right so now instead of this i am gonna write something else over here like you know a non-existent button so if you can see this particular thing will fail so now it's, it's basically not able to get the button and it's not able to click it okay and now we will also look at cy.should like we already saw about cy.should so now we can write dot should should be visible and there are different different uh, things should be visible should not be visible and should contain uh, you know should contain google search yeah so this this button should basically contain google search so there are different different ways of writing it if you have worked with react mocha it's kind of like this yeah so yeah i mean the name of the test case doesn't define what we are doing inside so now uh, i'm gonna bring back this thing to click okay now we will look at other stuff so now uh we are able to search on google.com so now we will write some text inside it so this is something this is something new that we are uh, learning so we will learn how to r type inside a input so first things first always remember to dot cy dot visit visit the website it's like you know how we are doing it in real life so normally while like if you're testing if you're using the website norm uh, like you know how you do it as a user so you go to the website and then you click over here so clicking over here will get the item so now let's get the input yeah so just gb cy.gb dot focus focus is just like you know clicking on this yeah that's focus and then we will get that again i don't know if this thing works dot type 
Uh, hello, Cyprus. Let's see if this works. Okay, so it doesn't allow to, you know, add stuff upon that focus. Let's see if it focuses or not. Okay, so we are able to focus if you can see. Okay, so it says that focus can only be called on a valid focusable. So the problem is that we are not able to get the element. Okay, seems like there's something wrong. Let me just reload the uh, software. Okay, cool. So now, uh, I'm sorry, that was not a correct get. I know Cypress was just misbehaving. Let's paste this and check if it works. So we are able to, yeah. So we are able to focus. So now if you, if you can see, there's a cursor over here. And now let's type on it. I don't know if type works. Let's try it out. It's just like we speak the word, like in just how we, you know, tell people how to do it on in English. So if you can see this worked. So if you can see this, it just automatically typed it over here. And then, you know, um, after this, we can do this like cy.get.click. So I'm going to write, how does Cypress work? So I'm going to do this. So it's hopefully going to work. Let's see if it works or not. How does Cypress work? There you go. It's working fine. Now, how to make sure that this is fine or not? So now in order to make sure that it's fine or not, so you should find something that, you know, that says that this is a, first of all, you can see that the uh, website uh, link is on search. So, so you can basically, how you, now you'll be learning how to verify login pages. So let's do that. Verifying, verifying the URL of the website that we are at. So in Cyprus, so let me just go to the documentation and, um, let's see if we are able to find something called URL. I hope that there's something called URL. Okay. So it should be okay. So I believe it should be something like let, let's 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 just look at the uh, URL that we are on over here. So let me just copy this. Okay, it has like all sorts of stuff over here. So now we just need to find a you know a kind of like this. Listen, so now let's use cy.url and uh, let's let's see how we can do it. Okay, so now let's write cy.url. cy.url will get you the current URL that. So it should include. It's like you know, it should not be equal to the. There's also equal. There's also uh, not equal. Uh, equal and. Now it should just include because we don't know what is next on the URL. So now it should have like search something like this, or maybe, you know, just search. Just want to check that, you know, it's on the search page. Let's see. So there you go. It works. It works fine. You can see the test that we are doing and we can also see the network requests that are going on this test. This is really nice. And the next thing that we will be learning is that we've learned how to type. We've learned how to, you know, um, do all sorts of stuff. We can now will be, uh, it's basically a video where you you will basically learn all of the basic stuff of Cypress. So now the next thing is that, that I want to teach you, which is, which is important is let's go back over here to the commands. Uh, I don't know if this works or not, but okay, never mind. Let's ignore this. Now let's look at, you know, how to set up local storage, how to, uh, set, uh, you know, 
local storage like how do i want to set the values in local storage so the way that we do this uh is that it's, it's pretty simple we can just go to the documentation and local storage cypress oops i'm sorry so there is cypress documentation there is a uh, cy dot clear local storage so there's something about uh, clearing local storage i see let's see if we are able to uh, you know store the information directly on look uh, cypress okay i'm doing this just for the sake of you know exploring out new stuff on cypress so let's do it and um, <coughs> so let's see if this works local storage it storing info on local storage so for storing information on local storage that you can just directly set up values on local storage so now um let's see if it works so if you let's go to the application let's look at this so if you can see over here there is value in the local storage so there's something called john all right it's it's like we are able to store the local storage so now this is about storing information the local storage you can also do like you know um expect uh something like this expect local storage okay let's write another test which will uh you know expect local storage to have the value of john on name key local storage so i'm going to write you know uh, expect oops sorry expect local storage dot get item name to equal to john so it's it's pretty simple guys if you can see over here so let's see let's see if it works so if you can see this does not work because uh expected null to equal to john so the thing is so every time we are running the test case it will clear off the local storage so this is a problem that we are having so let's see if it works if i do this so every, for every test case you know there's a new local storage. so this is a repetitive code so what if i want to uh you know like write some common code which runs after like before every test case that we are running so there is something called before all as far as i know so before each so let's define that so before so it's like you know before each so before each test case i want to run some kind of code so one we, one thing that we can do is that we can uh, do this also remove this from here because every time we are visiting cy.visit and also we can just set local storage dot set item name as john let's see if it works or not so before uh, every web, before every test we are going to the website and we are storing it so before every test we are doing this so this basically clear out all of the stuff on the you know um uh, yeah on basically on this website on the you know just you can just minimize the code and just remove all of the remove, repetitive code over here and just store it over here so yeah guys that's it so now you can just do all of the stuff with this thing just make sure that it's not a good habit to just like you know get the elements with this this kind of method you basically need to have ids like i showed you over here you need to have id and you need to make sure that everything is working fine otherwise it will just you know mess up your code quality and you'll have bad code reviews i'm just kidding okay so 
uh i guess that's it and if you guys have any doubts on this please comment down below and if you like the video please like and subscribe so thank you and see you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care bye bye